ready with me to go to K-Town. So if you don't know, K-Town is a neighborhood in LA. It's Koreatown. And it's one of my favorite neighborhoods to visit. I actually, fun fact, I actually lived in Koreatown um, when I first moved to LA. And the only reason why I had to move was because of the commute from my job to K-Town was really long and I was working a lot of doubles so it was essentially like two hours on the metro <laughs> doing this so that's why I moved to where I am now but I still visit because I want to go get some food and I want to walk around H Mart a really fabulous place to go for Asian groceries and food my favorite places to go so I'm so excited something to eat they also have somi somi over there which is so good it's a soft serve taiyaki place a uh, taiyaki is like the fish shaped waffle cone and i love I, I love to get like the i love to get a filling in it and it's so good my stomach is growling just thinking about it right now so i did my foundation my lipstick and now i'm gonna i did my concealer so now i'm doing my eyebrows I really need to get my eyebrows done again, but it's a lot of money to get them done. And I wish it was like the one where I could get them done for like a whole year and that, but I know that would be a lot of coin. So like, woo! Um, because like going to Paramorphicon and then going to Jonas slash Sergio show, I, I want to look decent, but sometimes it's just what you can afford. You know what I'm saying? So my ear itches. But last night I um, left my wallet at work and I didn't realize I left my wallet at work until I got off to walk to my apartment. And I realized, oops, I, um, oops, I left my wallet at work and I'm not gonna be able to get into the apartment if I don't get my wallet. So I had to end up going back to work. Um, Thankfully, my, my sister paid for my lifts to and from work because I called her crying saying I was an idiot and she was like, what happened? And I told her what happened and she's like, oh my God, girl, like sometimes you just be having those moments, don't you? And I was like, I do. Funny now, but it's like, in a moment, it's like dumb kings crying and everything. So it was like, I was like, oh my God, I said, I can't believe I did that. Like I, I told my sister, like, I literally cannot believe I did that like to do the brightest setting which i didn't even think it bronzer oh go and get some more makeup soon i saw i got some tea so i think my girlfriend went to i can't remember i want to say it was tj max jacqueline and um y'all remember jacqueline cosmetics oh my god what a mess <laughs> that was a hot mess Now they do have a lot of good um, cosmetics, get skincare products, a lot of viral products that's been on TikTok, like the face mask and everything. You could definitely go. I think sometimes I get them cheaper there than like Ulta or Sephora. The K-pop stores where you can go and get K-pop albums, posters, um, merch. We down for that. A lot of great food spots. A lot of great food in k-town and you know you have k, k barbecue hot pot um korean food obviously it's koreatown um but you could also learn a lot about korean culture i just go over there and i sit there's also a lot of um a couple of venues over in k-town where a lot of people go and perform for like on this if you've ever been to k-town um or if you want to go to k-town um or if there's places that you like to, that you've been that you love to go in your in your town, I would really love to see that. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, and you be the super the, the shining star that you are for watching, and you continue being the amazing person that you are.